Oh. It just something there. It didn't. Yeah, something's not working with that that mic. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was looking for it. Okay. So we're live. All right. Thanks.
Thank you. 
drivers are in their places, region, and officials are present. The 53rd annual commencement exercises of Three Rivers Community College are officially in session. Please be seated. Good afternoon. I'm Jerry Ice, Academic Dean at Three Rivers Community College. It is my honor to preside today over the college's 53rd annual commencement ceremony. Our thanks to Grand Marshal Professor James Rhodes, who is retiring with 36 years of dedicated service to the college. Faculty Marshals, Elizabeth Allen, Cynthia Hartman, Todd Berry, and Nicola Ricker. Thank you to all our processional leaders, Hyper Professional, and Professor William O'Hare. This year, we are delighted to have the national anthem sung by our Three Rivers Student Choir, Voices of the River. At this time, I would ask the choir members to join us on stage. This is their first public appearance, and they are the first Three Rivers Choir to perform during a Three Rivers commencement. Voices of the River was founded on April the 14th, 2016, by Benjamin Coombs, Morgan Quintella, and Melissa Seidel. Their mission is to share their love passion for music through song. Voices of the River gives students the opportunity to sing in a choir, learn the intricacies of music theory and vocal techniques. They hope that through song, they could build a legacy for Three River singers. Joining Melissa, who will be conducting, Benjamin and Morgan are Wesley Baldaza, Thomas Dowling, Elizabeth Exley, Ames Fontaine, Amelia Lynch, Shayla Perry, and uh, Mason Boterno. Please rise for the national anthem.
Matt Flurry, Chairman of the Board, Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education. <laughs> Professor James Rhodes, Professor of Electrical Engineering Technology and our Grand Marshal. Michael Carter, Professor of Chemistry and Chair of the Faculty Senate. Dean Stephen Getches, Dean of Administrative Services, Human Resources, and Information Technology, who will be introducing our degree candidates. <laughs> dean Stephen Fenton, Acting Dean of Student Services, Enrollment Management, and Workforce Development, who will also be introducing the degree candidates. Betty Balarjan, Director of Institutional Advancement, who will later give the alumni charge. Natalia Romanenko, our 2018 valedictorian, and Zaha Bush, 2018 salutatorian. Thank you for. You may be seated. Thank you for joining us today as we celebrate the accomplishments of our wonderful students. They are the center of our world at Three Rivers, and as a college, we strive to serve them to our fullest ability. We, the faculty and the staff at Three Rivers, are internally encouraged, steadfastly supported in this important endeavor. By a strong and fearless president, we are deeply grateful for her leadership. Again, it is my honor to introduce our president, Mary Ellen Tchaikovsky. Mary Ellen. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Dean Ice, for that introduction. Chairman Fleury, distinguished guests from the community, Three Rivers faculty and staff, welcome. Thank you all for joining us today. Congratulations, graduates, on this spectacular day. This ceremony is one of my favorite days of the academic year. Today, we celebrate and honor you, our graduates, you number almost 600, and you come from all walks of life with your unique stories. You chose to enroll at Three Rivers for its affordable, accessible education. You walked the halls of the Spine Institution, you sat in the library studying, you attended classes with our faculty, you sat with your peers to study, you did all of this to reach your goal to graduate, and here you are today, and here we are all today, gathered to celebrate you and your accomplishments. This evening, I want to highlight the diversity and achievements of you, our students. As I call your name, would you please stand and be recognized? Raven Dillon, President of the Student Government Association, graduating with an Associates in Liberal Arts and Sciences, earning magnum cum laude honors. We have Miranda Fabre, Vice President, keep standing, Raven. You're not getting off this easy. <laughs> Vice President of the Student Government Association, President of Sigma, Vice President of SAGE, a student program, student worker, and a member of the Canvas Activity Board, graduating today with Associates in Science and General Studies. We have Zoe, would you please stand? Zoe is Secretary of the Student Government Association, President of SPAG, Student Performing Arts Guild, a student program, student worker, a member of the Canvas Activity Board, and a very talented actress who is graduating with cum laude honors. Zoe is transferring to the University of Rhode Island in the fall into the theater arts program. Ben Benjamin Crawley, where are you, Benjamin? Okay, great. Benjamin is treasurer of the Student Government Association and SIGMA sexual identity and gender minority advocates, president of the Writers Guild, and a fine actor who's graduating with an associate in arts and liberal arts and sciences, 
along with a certificate in women's studies. Benjamin is the second one in his family to graduate with an associate's degree. Congratulations. <laughs> Benjamin Coombs, please stand. Benjamin is the president of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, a student representative to the College Congress, and vice president of the Voices of the River of the of the River Choir. For so many of you here today, you are the first in your family to earn a degree. Would you please rise if you are the first in your family to earn a degree among the graduates? Come on, please stand up because we want to honor you. This is a great accomplishment. Welcome to the family of the college graduates who are assembled. Thank you. You may all be seated. Today, we have Heather Dyer and Adam Dyer with us. Heather and Adam, would you please stand? Heather and Adam got married on May 23rd, 2015. As Heather says, we will both be celebrating our third year anniversary today by walking down the aisle once again, once more, but this time to get our associate's degrees. Congratulations. We have Cindy Harpin, Assistant Professor of Nursing, and her daughter, Cassandra. Cassandra, where are you? Please stand. Oh, there she is. Good. Cassandra Stimson. Cindy graduated from the TRCC Nursing Program in 1994 and served as the president of the Student Nurses Association. Cassandra is also graduating from the TRCC Nursing Program and is also the president of the Student Nurses Association. In addition, Cassandra has just accepted a position as a registered nurse in the emergency department at Bacchus Hospital, the same emergency department where her mother, Cindy, spent many years as the evening charge nurse. Great. Next, we have Maximo Alfaro. <laughs> Maximo. Maximo came from Peru just four years ago. He did not speak English, so he studied first at New London Adult Ed and continued here in our English as a Second Language program. Today, he is graduating in Liberal Arts and Sciences, and he will continue his studies this fall at Wesleyan College with a full scholarship. Congratulations. <laughs> Chloe Johnson, would you please stand? There she is. Chloe is graduating with an Associate's in Arts, Liberal Arts and Sciences, and a Certificate in General Studies. A friend of Chloe's, Nicole Rabner. Nicole, would you please stand? <laughs> Nicole is graduating with a Connecticut State College and University Pathway Transfer Degree in Psychology Studies. Chloe and Nicole represent so many of our students. According to Professor Pamela Carroll, they worked together in the Copy Center and became good friends. They supported each other throughout the ups and downs of college life. They are moving on to Eastern Connecticut State University. Congratulations to both of you. We have a mother and daughter graduating together today. Nancy Girardin, who is graduating with an associate's in science and nursing, and her daughter, Melissa Girardin, is graduating with an associate in science and academy. <laughs> Nancy is already using a nursing degree at her new job at Brightbrook Rehab in Niantic. Melissa is going on to Eastern Connecticut State University to pursue her degree in Certified Public Accounting. Congratulations. Our next two students are extraordinary success stories from our Second Chance Pell program. Would you please stand Maurice Mitchell and Thomas Ibison? 
There they are. They are receiving certificates in environmental health and safety management. They started in our program and continued their studies here at Three Rivers, driving from Bridgeport for every class. They both to continue their education here toward a degree in the Environmental Engineering Technology Program. Way to go, guys. <laughs> Next, I would like to ask Jean Turnier to please stand. Jean, where are you? Okay, great. Jean, who is graduating with an Associate in Science and General Studies, took classes at Mohegan in 1974. She left to work in the medical field for 40 years, including 25 years a, as a medical practice manager. Then she took some classes here over the years, but in September 2016, decided to complete her degree. Jean earned 22 credits for her life experience through our assessment of prior learning program. Now Jean plans to transfer to Eastern Connecticut State University to earn her bachelor's degree. Congratulations, Jean. Jean is a wonderful example that it's never too late. And you're never too old or too young to learn. Today we have Gary Tobias here. Gary, where are you? I don't see him, but Gary is 68 years old, young, graduating with an associate in science and hospitality management. And we have Christopher Anino. Chris, are you here? There he is, great. Christopher, would you please stand? Chris, who at just 16 years of age is graduating with an associate in applied science in construction management. Congratulations. <laughs> we have students from the Three Rivers Middle College Magnet High School graduating today. Jaden Christopher Spitali is graduating with an associate degree in general studies from Laude. Jaden, would you please stand? <laughs> Jaden is continuing his education at the University of Connecticut Honors Program in Law. I would also like to ask Lexi Swiss to stand. There she is. Lexi is also graduating with an associate in science degree in general studies, summa cum laude, and heading to the University of Connecticut in an honors program in biomedical engineering. Alexei and Jaden, we wish you all great success. Today, I would also like to acknowledge our veteran students, our graduates from the class of 2018, and those who are pursuing their education, as well as the families and friends of these graduates. I would also like to ask all our, our veterans here today to stand along with our veteran students. Veteran students, please rise so we can honor you. Thank you for your service to our country. Friends, sadly this year, we lost members of our learning community. At this time, I would like to ask that we have a moment of reflection to remember those not with us today. May they remain forever a part of the fabric of our lives and our hearts. Thank you. Today, I speak to all of our graduates and say, this is your day to celebrate your commitment to learning, the effort and dedication you invested to, pers to pursue your education, and your perseverance to make this day possible. Graduates, I hope that Three Rivers Community College has been a place that ignited the spark of learning that will cause you to be lifelong learners throughout, a place that introduced you to the value enduring value of the liberal arts, a place that instilled in you the desire to strive for excellence academically, personally, and professionally, a place where individual faculty members 
have touched the, your life in ways you never imagined. A place that provided a solid academic foundation for you to choose a profession to pursue that, allow, that will allow you to make a difference in the lives of others. And finally, a place where human relationships will lead to lasting friendships. As you do so, there are family and friends who join you today who know well your educational journey. I have had the pleasure of meeting your parents, spouses, siblings, and children when they attended Honor Society inductions, student leader award banquets, and scholarship award events, to mention a few. These events make us keenly aware that we don't succeed alone. Graduates, as you celebrate your accomplishments and a new beginning and a new future of opportunity, made possible in part by family and friends, I ask you to please stand, turn around, and salute your faithful supporters and enthusiastic cheerleaders with a rousing round of applause for them. Okay, please stand. You may be seated. Graduates, we are so happy to share this day with you and the promise of a bright future. You have been an extraordinary class of young men and young women who have the potential to make great things happen in this world. And so my final words to you are, congratulations, well done, class of 2018. Thank you, President Joukowsky, for those uplifting and meaningful words. And now, greetings from the faculty will be shared by Michael Cardam, Professor of Chemistry and Chair of the Faculty Center. Good evening. On behalf of the faculty at Three Rivers Community College, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to this commencement exercise and congratulate you on the job well done. Whether you are entering the workforce or re-entering the workforce or continuing on to further studies, you have reached an important milestone and we are grateful to have been part of your journey. You know, the educational experience is a two-way street. The faculty are in, in a unique uh, position because we have the opportunity to observe firsthand your thought processes, creativity, your technical skills, and your individuality by far. We are privileged to work with such a diverse student population, and we are committed to helping you succeed, not just while you are here, but beyond three rivers. As students, you have challenged us and opened our eyes to questions and viewpoints that we might not have considered. It is our hope that you take with you fond memories, aside from the exams, um, and a strong desire to continue learning, because that's what makes life interesting. As a teacher once told me, it's not about the subject, it's about the students. You inspire us, and hopefully we have inspired you. Thank you for being a part of our lives and making us better teachers. Congratulations and best of luck moving forward. Thank you, Professor Carter, for your warm and thoughtful wishes for our graduates. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Natalia Romanko, this year's valedictorian. Natalia is graduating with her Associates in Science in Computer Science Technology and will continue her studies at Eastern Connecticut State University in the Computer Science Program. I present to you Natalia Romienko, 2018 Valedictorian. Natalia, will you please join me at the podium? Thank you, Demais. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, faculty, 
audience, now with families and friends. It's a huge honor for me to address our class of 2018. We finally did it. I have been at Three Rivers for two years, and this experience has greatly changed me. I've met so many wonderful people here and learned so much from them. I came here, I came here for an affordable education and flexible schedule so that I could study, build, and care for my kids. Honestly, I didn't expect much from it, but I was so wrong. I am greatly impressed and deeply touched by the quality of education, faculty qualification, and women's body environment here. I feel deeply grateful to all professors who taught me, and I'd like to give special thanks to Dr. Kelly Malkentine, who is amazing at making math fun and engaging, Dr. Joe Johnson, who inspired me to major in computer science, Professor Michael Kelvin, who taught us how to make aspirin in case you need it, and Professor Josh Walker, whose digital logic opened my eyes to how computers really work. My fellow graduates, we came here for different reasons. And everybody here has a story to tell with his or her own dreams and struggles. But we all wanted to get ahead in our lives, to pursue our dreams, to identify our greatest passions, to get a better job, to find friends and mentors. But for whatever reason we came here, it was a great decision to do so. It's not only the diploma we received here as three years. What we received was so much bigger than that, a high quality education and confidence that we could succeed while facing difficulties. We are supposed to become more prepared for real life after college, but many of us are already facing real life difficulties, real life challenges, families to care for, jobs, and other life needs. Receiving a diploma for many of us meant much sacrifice. It's not so hard to study when you have nothing else to care about. It's way more difficult to graduate from college when you don't have enough time, money, and energy. When you need to juggle raising kids, uh, having a job, and being a student. I spent so many nights seated at my kitchen table doing my homework while my kids do theirs. And I made these sacrifices for the same reason as many of you did, uh, because we want a better life and we are ready to fight for it no matter how hard it is. A quote from Phil the Roosevelt states, courage is not having the strength to go on, it's going on when you don't have the strength. We should be so proud of ourselves and of the hard work we complete. Cherish this moment and this accomplishment. Congratulations, class of 2018. We made it. Thank you, Natalia, for those thoughtful and inspiring words. Each year, the Board of Regents presents medallions for academic excellence in recognition of outstanding academic accomplishment of the associate degree graduates of the community colleges. The criteria for the medallion are as follows. Re recipients must be a graduating student who has earned a cumulative grade point average of 4.0. Recipients must have completed the degree requirements of the approved associate degree program. And recipients must have completed at least 50% of those degree requirements in residence at the community college awarding the degree. This year, I think we have an all-time record of seven recipients who meet this criteria. I would like to ask the following graduates to join me on stage for the awarding of the medallions for academic excellence. Natalia Romanenko, Saha Bush, our South Salutatorian, Chelsea Ahmed, Rebecca Sacharini, Allison Grills, Jason, Derby Kirby, and Patrick Mager. Chair Flory and President Kukowski will present the academic medallions.
And now it's my honor to introduce Matt Glory, Chairman of the Board of Regents. He is the President and CEO of the Kinetic Science Center in Hartford. Chair Glory has an MBA from UConn, but he'll be particularly interested to know that he began his education and graduated from Berkshire Community College. Chair Flurry brings greetings from the board. Chair Flurry is our speaker this year. We welcome Chair Flurry to Three Rivers Community College. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, President Tukaski. Thank you so much. Uh, Dean Ice, Natalia Zaha, the members of the platform party here, and all the uh, wonderful faculty and staff administrators. And most of all, you, the students, your families, and friends, and supporters, congratulations. Thank you for the privilege of uh, speaking with you tonight. Um, I'll quickly find myself winging it uh, just to say that I acknowledge that I have lost my tassel. This is most embarrassing, uh, save the fact that I now will not have the additional embarrassment of having it on the wrong side at the wrong time. But you get to do the tassel ceremony. Far be it for me to say which way it goes, because now I've got stage left, stage right, things happening. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's where the tassel is. Um, I am the father of a couple of nine-year-old boys who are uh, uh, heavy into academics now in third grade, and I'm uh, finding myself ensconced in that endeavor every morning at the dining room table. And uh, they have endowed me with a great deal of academic humor, and one point of uh, uh, joy recently that might be relevant particularly to those receiving the high honors and medals for your achievements is the story about the scarecrow uh, who received a very high honor for his distinguished work and the reason was that he was outstanding in his field okay so this is where i'll return to my prepared remarks behind which there is actually some some thought and i'll try to stick to that um, this is a true joy, a true joy and an honor to share this moment with you. I'm very, very glad to have the opportunity to say a few words, uh, particularly uh, because we have in common the attribute of being graduates of community colleges. To rely on stories about my heroics in community college would indeed assure this is a very short program uh, that may be appealing to you. You are not so lucky. Uh, as you have, know, you have endured a great many lectures to reach this point only for the privilege of enduring yet one more. Uh, so I am mindful of that. Uh, sympathetic, uh, and this ironic bit of ceremony can be uh, endless. Uh, so I'll strive to offer more wisdom than wind. And uh, understand that there's not a guaranteed ratio there, but your speaker is considerate of your plight. So onward. But very much to this point, uh, the point of this celebration, I'm happy to inform you that my studies and graduation were really just the beginnings of my life as a community college student, the distinction with which I'm still proud to associate myself and which I trumpet loudly because I'm proud of it. Even though your ID card, many of you, uh, as a community college student here at Three Rivers, will be turned in, uh, your calling card forever is that of a graduate of this fine institution. And it will carry you forward from tonight in ways that I'm sure you cannot, as I did not fully imagine. But it has elevated your capability, and that is now the enhanced new you. What you take from this night is part of you forever. The greater person you have made yourself into with the guiding, teaching, caring, hands of the educators who have shared their gifts with you here tonight at Three Rivers are yours forever. And I know you'll employ those skills and those capacities marvelously. You have changed yourselves in important ways for life. You have exercised the intellectual muscles that we as humans are uniquely blessed to have by choice. And it is not an easy road, as has been remarked. The kitchen table, homework for the kids jobs, etc. But it is the right road and it will make the rest of your days more rewarding for you and enable you to be stronger and more beneficial in your contributions to the people and society around you. I do remember the day of a music hall shed in Western Massachusetts in the spring of 1985. 33 
three years ago when I walked across the stage in this pathetic green getup. Those were our team colors at Berkshire Community College. You should be grateful. And proudly and with some surprise at what I had.
By order of the Board of Regents and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I now confer upon these candidates the certificate and admit them to the honors, rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining thereto. Graduates, you may be seated. At this time, the graduates will be presented with their diplomas. Dean Getches and Dean Bitten will announce the graduates as they come forward and receive their diplomas. Natalia Romanenko, summa cum laude. She's being greeted by Professor Mark Camo. Zaha Bush, summa cum laude, graduating with a general studies associate in science, greeted by Stephen Newton. Christopher Michael Anino, magna cum laude, graduating with an associate in uh, science and construction technology. Michael Charles Flanagan, magna cum laude. All these graduates are graduating with an associate in science and construction technology. Jared Reed Avery Gray IV, Di Nayira Desiree McDonald, John Dre Ramos Gonzalez, Magna Cum Laude, John Lewis Schmidt, Devon Michael Slosek, John Ryan. Shuruba, cum laude. Corey Frank Samansky. John Pierre R. Torres. Next graduates are graduate with Associate in Applied Science and General Engineering Technology, greeted by Professor Gentry. Jason Gregory Mackenzie, cum laude. Next, graduating with Associate in Arts in CSCU Transfer Business Studies, created by Professor Bennett. Luis A. Delgado, Jr., also graduating with an Associate in Arts degree in Liberal Arts and Sciences. Maria Louise Corthals. Next, graduating with Associate in Arts in CSCU Transfer History Studies, created by Professor Petsoris. Caitlin Renee Blanchard. Next graduate associate in arts at CSCU Transfer Psychology Studies, greeted by Professor Kukumas. Nicole K. Graebner, cum laude. Next graduate in associate in arts and liberal arts and sciences, greeted by Professor Newfold. Maximo P. Alfaro, magna cum laude. Wesley A. Valdoeza, magna cum laude. Erin Elizabeth Bernard, cum laude. Andrea Ann Koshu Doka, summa cum laude. Julie A. Sinomi, magna cum laude. Benjamin Allen Coons, cum laude. Tiana Dana Cooper, Lisa Rose Cormier, cum laude, Katia Elise Angela Coraya, Matthew Ryan Delmar, cum laude, Raven W. Dillon, magna cum laude, Kelly Bay Etheridge, cum laude, Brianna Lynn Gomez. Zoe Payne, cum laude. Andrea Nicole Buble. Chloe Sophia Johnson, cum laude. Brittany M. LeClaire, cum laude. Megan Elizabeth. 
is Salako Kawane. Ashley Victoria Maine. Christy Lynn Merrifield Kawane. Next graduating associate in science and business information systems graded by Professor Gladu. Merle Y. Matthews. Carlos Zambrano. Next graduating associate in science and civil engineering technology graded by Professor Tom Bureau. Brian J. A. Lassier. Jennifer Page Mezzerby. Next graduating with associate in science and computer science technology graded by Professor Camo. Floor Stessy Norsi. <laughs> Jacob Peabody. Next graduating associate in science and criminal justice created by Professor Crouch. Diamond Ann Akers. Carla Michelle Caraballo. Nathan Cormier. Taylor Jordan Desjardins. Silicon Valley. Emma Blake Dufresne. Alicia R. Edwards. Jennifer Christine Fairley, Magna Cum Laude. Stephanie Ann Frommelt, Magna Cum Laude. Alec D. Hensley. Sarah Caitlin LeClaire. Rachel Irene Moniz. Jancy Ortiz. Christina Marie Sanford. Denise Marie Villahoff Vega. Next, graduating associate in science and early childhood education, greeted by Professor Skahan. Christine Ann Akins. Samantha Rose Pace. Courtney Lynn Davis, from Lade. Jenna Elizabeth Yu, from Lade. Andrea Evelyn Levin, from Lade. Karen Patricia Little, Magna Cum Laude. Thomas Henry Obi. Brittany Morgan, Holiday. Erica Morgan Chandler, Bailey Lynn Smith, from Lade. Alex Ann Turner, from Lade. Elizabeth Marie Vantroba, Mayon Air Barras, Holly Watson, from Lade. Next, graduating with Associate in Science of Ear Commerce, created by Professor Glendu. Willie James Dalton, also graduating with a Certificate in General Studies. Next, graduating with Associate in Science in Electrical Laser, Robotics, and Engineering Technology, created by Professor Gentry. Nicholas Rotas, from Lade. Next, graduating with Associate in Science in Engineering Science, created by Professor Kamo. Alexander Alex Androvich Piatkin, from Lade. Next, graduating Associate in Science in Environmental Engineering Technology, created by Professor Han Bureau. Melinda Lorraine Lynch. Next, graduating Associate in Science in Exercise Science, created by Professor Zini. Emily Catherine Raynor. Corin Victoria Garadi, Crystal Lee Urbosky, Brett Michael LaRochelle, Heather Nicole Phillips, Magna Cum Laude, Zachary Running Bear Stevens. Next graduating with Associate in Science in Finance and Banking, greeted by Professor.
Professor O'Shea. Lore Sandri Hosa from Line A. Beth Marie Rataco. Next graduating associate in science and general studies greeted by Professor Newfield. Brendan Thomas Asito, Magna Cum Laude. Christian Gillette Allen, Cum Laude. Emily A. Austin, Magna Cum Laude. Maya Flor Barraga. Emelise Barros Maria. Nico James Bartelli, Cum Laude. Emily Marie Bigelow. Ashley Marie Boucher, Magna Cum Laude. Trent Douglas Brennan. Danielle May Buffington, Magna Cum Laude. Aisha Denise Bird. Julissa Giselle Castillo. Woo! Samantha CNC, Cum Laude. Viola R. Cook. Nicholas Edward Corsi. Kendall Lee Davis. Kelly May DeMarchi, Magna Cum Laude. Heather Leanne. Dyer, Cum Laude. Zachary Wayne Jingle. Kiana Alina Everson. Jill R. Estrella. Miranda J. Everett. Andrea Stephanie Faber. Magna Cum Laude. Russell Ellis Frazier, Cum Laude. Danielle Annette Giannelli, Cum Laude. Krista A. Gerard, Cum Laude. Allison R. Rose Jason, Summa Cum Laude. Nicole C. Hall, Magna Cum Laude. Leah G. Hasselman, Cum Laude. Zenea Laraya Holloway. Stephanie Jante. Kristen Lynn Landon. Magna Cum Laude. Nakisha Rachel Little. Cum Laude. Kay Yang Liu. Summa Cum Laude. Taylor Jordan. McCracken, Heather Angel, Cum Laude, Sunita K. McCarthy, James Edward McCutcheon, Juan Ramirez, Meliseo, Magna Cum Laude, Cheryl Crystal Mendez, Kendall Patricia Marie Metcalf. Tawanda Miller. Jerry C. Monplazier. Megan Jacqueline Norsha, cum laude. Lauren Kelly O'Neill, cum summa cum laude. Mallory Margaret Oswald. Roxanne Palladino. Mira Pravikumar Patel. Cum laude. Kevin M. Perrault. Caitlin G. Plus. David E. Porter. Victoria Leoloa Isola. Puna a Puna. Lillian Marie Roderick Ramos. 
David Joseph Rubelski, <laughs> Carol M. Schmardell, Magna Cum Laude, Jaden Christopher Spitali, Cum Laude, <laughs> Melissa Maya Stotsko, <laughs> Brittany Lillian Stickman, Alex C. Lee Switz, Yolanda M.F. Tibansu, Cum Laude, Jean Ellen Turnier, Vicki A. Long, Aritni Lee Valles, Hope Lynn Whiteley, Megan Lynn Wood, Betsy May Wright, the next candidates will receive an Associate in Science and Graphic Design, greeted by Professor Amento. Chelsea B.H. Ahmed, summa cum laude. Catalina Anzola, cum laude. Catherine Ann Collins. Olivia Deshaines. Mark Anthony Dunning, Jr. Megan Lynn Lamey. Abigail Lynn Mora, cum laude. George T. Simonis, cum laude. Stallone Sylvester. The next candidates will receive an associate in science in hospitality management, greeted by Professor O'Shea. Nicole C. Estrella, cum laude. Iris Tarazon. The next candidates will receive an associate in science and human services, greeted by Professor Martin. Michael Vincent Bartelli, cum laude. Susan Ann Broyles. Barbara Hart. Dominique A.W. Moore. Erin Doyle, magna cum laude. The next candidates will receive an associate in science in laser and fiber optic technology, created by Professor Gentry, Joseph Joshua Turner, Alexandra May Barkowski, Scott Stanley Stevenson, summa cum laude. The next candidates will receive an associate in science and nuclear engineering technology, created by Professor Sherrard, Eric Jacob Broomfield, Jake Victor Carrera, cum laude. Jordan Ryan Keel. Evan Daniel LePage. Samuel James Mashad. Devin John Noah, cum laude. Sulinda Palomero. Matthew David Schneider. The next candidates will receive an Associate in Science and Nursing, greeted by Professor Ola. Rebecca Lee Almeida. Shante Patrice Bell. Don Bertaki. Brianna Louise Bissonnette. Michelle Nicole Buskin. Michaela Marie Bowman. Thomas Christian Campos, Christy A. Canova, Marisha Laura Chabot, Jay Chen, cum laude, Kyle James DeVoe, Leslie Ann Dunbar, Stephanie Marie Ellis, Kimberly Kathleen Fitch, Kayla Pamela Garrido, <laughs> Melissa Sue Guridan, cum laude, Nancy Ann Guridan, cum laude, Brandy D. Gonzalez, Jennifer L. Goyette, Danny Huen, Mahogany B. Johnson, Jesse Lee Jusum. 
Melissa P. Kennedy, cum laude. Tammy R. Knapp, cum laude. Sierra K. Nisper. Muba B. Gustav. Métis Helen Lima LaFontaine. Blaine Dominique Meath. Alec Jesse Nicola. Kuma Kumalade. Tiffany E. Moody.
walking together, Sean, Paul, Andy, Fire Belt. He is an associate in science and general studies. Next certificate will be uh, next candidate is to receive a certificate in women's studies, greeted by Professor Janet B. Benjamin Maxwell Crowley. Also graduated with an AA in liberal arts and sciences. Congratulations, 2018. Thank you, thank you to our efficient and talented, and talented commencement. 
Women's Movement for making today possible. There are so many people within this community who worked hard to make this a wonderful celebration. Let's give them all of them.